I'm Adam Azer for the UIR Tournament Preview, talking Vols basketball. Chris Lofton can hit threes, the Smiths can score the ball, and Tennessee can get up and down the court in a hurry. Here to tell us more is Hunter Pavlik, sports editor of the Daily Beacon. Hunter, what's your take on Chris Lofton this season? I feel like in the Memphis game, he almost killed them. In the Vanderbilt game, he almost won the game single-handedly. How important is he to the team? Oh, he, well, he's very important. He definitely can stretch the defense with his three-point shot. Early in the year, he really struggled uh, with, the, with the outside shot, and he really came on once SEC play began. Like you said, Memphis game, he really struggled. He struggles for the most part when you put a, a longer, taller defender on him. But when he's hitting, I mean, he when he when he's on, he's one of the best shooters not only in the SEC but in the in the, in the country. And uh, adding him with Juwan Smith in the three-point line really makes this team one of the best in the country. The Vols have a whole slew of supporting players, and like ten of them are named Smith. Which among those guys is the most important for them in the tournament? That, that's, a, that's a tough one. Uh, the three Smiths, they all start. But um, I would say Tyler Smith and Jawan Smith are by far the most important. Jawan being a senior, uh, former walk-on, has really come on this year and added some, some good scoring uh, punch besides Lofton. He averages about 15 points a game and has a great outside shot, really streaky. But Tyler Smith has been the real one to uh, take Tennessee to the next level, transfer from Iowa. Um, he really... He, He's pretty much money inside six to eight feet. He gets inside the lane, and it, it, he's pretty hard to stop. He's by far the most athletic person on the team, and he's really elevated the Tennessee team to a transition three-point shooting team to more of a grind it out, get into the paint, and, uh, and score. If I were a college sports journalist, I would love to cover a guy like Bruce Pearl. We hear and see so much about his personality. Covering him, what are some of the strategic things that he does to help the team? The energy that he brings, not only in uh, press conferences and interviews and on the sidelines, he, he, he makes his team have. All the guys are very energetic. They all bring that same attitude. They all, they're diving for balls. They're, they're giving it their all. They're very energetic. Um, but he also he plays up-tempo. It, uh, it's a fan-favorite fan, it's a fan favorite kind of way. A lot of, a lot of transition baskets. They don't, they don't grind out the shot clock or anything like that. They're high scoring. And um, his personality really reflects on the team just in the – the attitude and uh, the enthusiasm they bring on the court. Hunter, thanks a lot for your time. Thanks so much. That wraps up CBS College Sports Network's Tournament Preview, powered by UWIRE.